Have you ever heard of remote viewing where you can actually see something in a location that you're not with no technology? Well, have you heard of remote conversations? Being able to talk, say, with one of your friends when they're across the country without a phone, just using your brain. Well, there's this new concept that I'm coming across that's kind of similar to both, and it's kind of a remote scenario conversation. What this means is, let's say there's a person that you care about that gives really good advice, but they're not around. You can't get a hold of them and you really need their advice. Well, you can play a conversation in your mind, if you know them well enough, about what exactly they would give as far as advice. What questions would they ask you? What would they say to you? What would they encourage you to do? Napoleon Hill talks a little bit about this in his book, Think and Grow Rich, back from, I believe it was the 1940s. He talks about being able to communicate and ask questions even to people who have passed on. What if you wanted to ask your grandfather, or your grandmother, or maybe one of your parents if they're not around anymore? How could you actually do that? What if you wanted to ask for advice from your favorite celebrity or someone that you really look up to in the public eye that you don't know and that you've never met? Well, our brains are really powerful and it's possible that maybe we can just use our imagination and make that happen. Now, it's up to you to decide if you believe that we can actually communicate with these people, communicate with their spirit or their general energy overall, or if it's just us using our imagination. But regardless of what you feel, you gotta admit that it's, it's true. We can kind of channel somebody's specific energy or at least our perspective of that energy and get some sort of a general idea of what they might respond what kind of advice they would give. I'll give you an example. Let's say you want advice from someone who's a comedian that you really like, someone that's really funny and you know that they're really crass and they're really straightforward. Maybe they're kind of from New York and they just, they just tell it how it is, straightforward with no fluff. Well, if you ask that person for advice of which job you should take or if you should you know, do, start a career and doing something that you love or, or anything at all, whether you should go on a date and you ask that person, maybe they'll respond in a really crass, funny, and direct way. They'll say, come on, you know you should do it. You're gonna regret it anyway, go for it. And they just tell you what to do. Maybe there's a psychologist or someone that is a really deep thinker that you really follow and that you like that you've never met before, or, or maybe a family member that just always gave the best wisdom and asked the greatest questions. Well, maybe you could channel that person and ask them the question, they're gonna say something different. They're gonna say, well, what is the best case scenario of you doing both things? What is the worst case scenario of you doing both things? What if you could do both and win in both ways? What is the win-win situation for everybody? And you find yourself asking yourself the questions from their perspective and getting a similar result to if you actually talk to them. I feel like this is pretty powerful, especially for loved ones who have passed on so that you can kind of feel a connection to them, communicate with them and still get some beautiful answers. Now, it's of course not always going to be the case where you get exactly verbatim what they would have asked or what they would have told you, what advice they would have given you, but it's pretty cool. That's my thought for today. Try it out. Have a good one. You're loved. Life's a miracle. Now go play in this beautiful playground called life.